Hi everyone and welcome to Advanced Installer YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of implementing a license key activation support for a Windows Forms application deployed via MSIX. Let's start by creating a sample Windows Forms app in Visual Studio. For this, simply navigate to File, New, Project, select the Windows Forms app template from the list of templates, set a name for the project and create it. Let's quickly add a button to the main form so it is not empty. Now, once the project is created, the next step is to design a form that allows the users to input the license key. This form should include a text field for the license key and the button to activate the license. Now, let's go to the code for the activation support. When the app launches, it needs to check the registry to verify if a valid license key has been provided. If not, prompt the user with the license key input form. If the users close the form without entering the license key, check if the app is still within a trial period of 30 days, allowing users to use it. Once a user enters the license key into the input form, we must validate it. To achieve this, we've opted to store the valid license keys in a text file on Dropbox with each key on a separate line. The user provided key is then compared with those stored in that file. One important step is, when asking users to input the license key, first check for an internet connection. If unavailable, display a message informing users that an active internet connection is required to activate the application.
Once the app is ready to be deployed, let me guide you through creating the MSIX package for the application. Before going through the next steps, make sure you have added the advanced installer extension to Visual Studio. Now let's create the setup project. Right click on the project solution and choose add new project. From the list of templates, select the advanced installer project template. Set a name for the project and create it. Once the project is created, you can access the project viewer by selecting the IP file. In the project viewer, you can edit basic information about your installer. To add the project output, navigate to Files and Folders tab and click the Add Project Output button. Select your project and press the OK button. By default, the Advanced Installer project generates an MSI package. To generate an MSIX package instead, you need to add an MSIX build. To do this, go to the MSIX tab in the viewer and click on the Add MSIX build. Please note that adding an MSIX build is a feature available starting with the professional edition of Advanced Installer. After adding the MSIX build, you must switch the installer project configuration. Navigate to Build and select Configuration Manager. Switch the installer project configuration from default build to the newly added MSIX build. The last step is to digitally sign the package. Open the Digital Signature tab, check the Enable Signing option and select your certificate from a local file on your disk or import it from the store. If you do not have a certificate, simply click the Create button to create one. After completing all the steps, build a setup project to generate the MSIX package, then run it to install the application. Here is the MSIX package that has been generated, so let's run it. As you can see, when launching the app, I am prompted to activate it. If I do not activate it, I will have a trial period of 30 days. During this period, every time I open the app, I will be prompted to enter the license key. Let's enter a valid license key now and reopen the app. As you can see, the app has been activated. And that's all. For more guides and tutorials, visit the Advanced Installer YouTube channel or check out the Advanced Installer blog.